Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check manifold pressure. Uh, this is your gas coming in. This is your manifold over here that's going around to the down to the burners. So there's going to be a tap. There's the tap on all these things. Uh, this one here has a tap on the inlet and it has a tap on the outlet. And I'll show you a gas valve close up so you can see where they're at. Okay, you can see that little tap right here on this thing. And if you look on the other side, this one does not have a tap. That's the inlet side. Occasionally they don't have. This is inlet pressure tap and it's not uh, threaded. Some of them don't have it. Some do, some don't. And so uh, if you don't have an inlet, you're certainly not going to be able to check it. I don't normally check inlet unless the outlet pressure is, I can't adjust it. Uh, if I can't adjust it to the above a certain point, then I'll check inlet pressure. Okay, we'll get her hooked up here. Now remember, if you're doing gas input from the gas line to the gas valve, before you remove the plug, shut off the valve. There, the valve should be crossways of the pipe. That's your gas cock. There's a gas cock within usually two or three feet of the appliance. Shut that off first, otherwise you're going to get gas pouring out of that silly thing. Okay. Now I've got the manometer hooked up here. And it's going right down to here. Now this is the inlet. Like I said, I don't always do inlet, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, it's all hooked up. I'm going to turn on the gas cock. Now, I've got 8.25 inches of water column. Okay, these are rated for 7 inches water column. These will go as low as 5. That is on the model and serial plate. Now what I want to do, if I'm going to do this input pressure, I want to check it not only with it off, but with it on. So let's fire this thing up. Okay, we're getting it fired up here, turning on the, uh, the uh, burner. And pretty soon it's going to light off, and there it goes. We've got 6.7 inches water column. Uh, that's in the gas line with the gas furnace operating. Uh, it's supposed to be at 7 inches of water column. The regulator on uh, the gas line is at the meter. It's not something we deal with. If it was too low or too high, uh, you'd have to call the... Uh, uh, the utility to fix it, but the numbers are pretty close. It's just about right on where it should be Okay, now you can see I'm set up for manifold pressure. I've hooked into this tap My manometer's right there. I'm gonna fire it up Again, I've edited out some of the time periods here, so you'll have longer time periods uh, for these pre-purges and the like Okay, now we are showing 3.32 inches water column, uh, and that's probably pretty close. Let's check and see what it's actually supposed to be. Okay, I'm looking at the model serial plate, and I come down and I look right there, and I see maximum gas supply pressure 7 minimum 5 and manifold pressure should be 3.5 let's see if we can get this thing 3.5 we're pretty close but uh, let's see what we can do okay and this valve see this little brass cap right there okay we take the cap off underneath it is a screw so we're going to go ahead and fire this thing off and see if we can adjust it. Okay, we've got the uh, we've got 3.33. See if we can get it up to about three and a half. It's pretty close. And the next thing we're going to do 
that cap back on. I'm going to put the cap on. Tighten it down and make sure it stays the same. Okay, that's pretty much stayed the same. You've got three and a half inches water column, you're fired correctly. Okay, the last thing we're going to do with these pressure tests, I have taken two caps off and put them back in. By the way, guys, remember to put the caps back in. I have done this before and uh, had a fire, trying to put a fire out and so on like that. Uh, remember to put the caps back in. And the last thing you do is you leak check them. Now, this one's got pressure on it all the time. This one only has pressure when the gas valve is open. So I'm going to start this machine and we will check them. I can do this one right now because there's already pressure on it. Okay, I'm just using soap. Electronic is great. If you've got electronic, use it. Uh, if you don't, soap's okay. This really isn't soap, it's big blue stuff. I don't know. It, it works pretty good. Okay, the burner is on, and I've spread leak solution over this. And I'm looking for bubbles on it. Uh, any bubbles at all, pull it off. You should have used pipe dope when you put those back in anyway. Uh, so, uh, no leaks. Another way we can check gas input to these appliances is uh, we can clock the meter. And I'll put uh, a video out uh, on clocking the meter in the future.